uh, so I did a whole bunch of mentoring uh, this last week, and uh, everyone kind of had some information about how my process, or wanted information about how my process works in uh, uh, auditioning. So I was just sent this audition. I'm going to do it for you real quick the way I normally do it to show you how fast I normally take to finish the project. And uh, afterwards, we'll do another one, and I'll walk you through the details. So uh, first things first. I'm just reading through uh, the project description to see if there's anything interesting. <clears throat> Astoria, Oregon. We're forever linked with the guts grit and can-do spirit of the folks that called this port city home back at the turn of the 20th century. It was there, in 1899, that seven salmon canners formed the Columbia River Packers Association, which became the Bumblebee Seafood Company. For generations, Bumblebee has been committed to providing families with quality seafood products that became part of the American fabric. But times have changed. <clears throat> But times have changed, tastes have shifted, which is why we're committed, we've committed. But times have changed, tastes have changed. Nope, they haven't. But times have changed, tastes have shifted, which is why we've committed to a new generation of seafood fanatics, people who are inspired to fight for the health of our oceans and everything they give us. That's why we're recommitting to seafood love. For over 130 years, we've sought out the best ways to give the world quality, sustainable, nutritious, and protein-rich foods from an inspired... Ah, they're from and inspired by. Where do I restart? For over 130 years, we've sought out the best ways to give the world quality, sustainable, nutritious, and protein-rich foods from and inspired by the ocean. And that's it. It's submitted. So I didn't do a whole lot of talking about it. I wanted you to kind of get a sense of what I'm doing by myself in the studio, no other talking involved. Um, so let's go through that uh, step by step, and I'll show you exactly what's going on um, as we're doing this. So um, let's do this Universal Orlando safety video next. They obviously have way more proposals than they need. Chances of me getting this are not very much, but hey, as long as this doesn't say they're not receiving in proposals, hey, they're open. So I copy the name because I file everything by the name. I do the date first with the year first, and you'll see this in a minute, year, uh, month, and day, then the, the name that the project was given, then the amount that they were, uh, were um, posting for, this in this case $1,500, and that allows me to sort everything by when, because if you go by the uh, month, date, year, uh, you're not getting a good sort. If you sort by year, date, uh, year, month, day, you'll get, it's easier for the computer to sort and you'll know which ones are first. Um, so I, I copy Universal Orlando safety video. I go over to Pro Tools. I create a new project. I have a shortcut that I can put in today's date. Um, and then I put in the name of, uh, paste in the name of the, the uh, oops, yeah, nope, Seafood Love was the last one. It did not copy, so I go back here and copy that. Change Seafood Love to what it's supposed to be. And then put in the $1,500 at the end. Now, if I'm doing a British voiceover, I'll add in 
uh, B for Brit so that I know when when they call for the audition, if I get the job, that it was a British accent. So, But when I just look at the file before I know anything else, I know when I did it, what the name of the project was, and the amount. And that helps me sort and find it later in case uh, it's not uh, – because a lot of times it's not – obvious. Uh, they'll give you a job. Hey, uh, you auditioned for us and it was great. Um, but, uh, uh, so you got the job, go ahead and record that script and send it to me. Well, what does that mean? I don't know. Well, what was it for? Um, it was for, uh, Universal Orlando. Uh, they don't know it's called the University of Orlando safety video. They almost never know what they called it. Um, so, but they'll, ah, and so I can do a search and see, ah, somewhere around 524, there was a Universal Orlando and then I can do the job. So, um, I will also create this. This is saying back up to cloud. What the hell is this? Something's weird here. Hold on, I'm going to start this one over again. I may cut this out of the thing. Something. Oh, was it project? Nope. That's weird. Back up to cloud. Did I? Oh, local storage. How did it get out of local storage? Anyway, I don't know. See, not even I know everything about what's going on with uh, Pro Tools. But here's the bottom line. I take it, this is the name, and I have two locations here at the bottom. If you're using Pro Tools, this is fine. For other programs, I'm sure there's something similar. I have one common location, which is uh, Voice123. Um, you can see it's under in-store radio. It's my company name, voiceover only, voice123, and then, and then the month and the year. So I have a folder for 2020. I have a folder for May. Uh, and so all the auditions that I do in May are in that folder. Then next month it'll be the 06 folder, and then the month after that will be the 07 folder. So I know every audition I've done in every single month forever. Uh, so I can always go back and find them, okay? Um, so, but in this case, this is an audition, so I'm going to put it in my normal audition folder. If it's going in anywhere else, uh, I'll put in prompt for location, um, and then I'll hit create. It creates it in that folder and usually that process happens as fast as it did the last uh, in the very first example, very very fast. So within 20 seconds, 15 seconds, the project's ready to go. Um, I turn on record. All of my settings are right. So let's see what they want. There's a session fee of 250 bucks, two hours of recording time for 250 dollars an hour, and a usage of a thousand bucks. So that's uh, 1,750. Well, excuse me, 1,500 dollars if I get this gig. They're looking for relaxed, strong, kind, and friendly. Female voice. Mm -hmm. Gal Gadot. Yeah, I'll bet you want Gal Gadot for $1,500. Uh, Bruce Willis or Michael McKeon. Okay, maybe it's McKeon, not McKeaton. Uh, or Michael Keaton, I suppose. Okay, I'm wrong. Um, all right, let's scroll down. And here is the script. We'll open up the script. Sometimes it's just right there, which I prefer. But if I have to open up a Word document, I do. So there's the Word document. And here it is. Okay, so I will put that down at the bottom so I can see it. It's a very big font, finally. Uh, I try to make sure that all the grammar and stuff is fixed um, before I start the read because uh, even though I'm pretty good at... Uh, uh, that's interesting. Uh, if, even though I'm pretty good at, at just reading... Uh, if there are any weird spellings, it'll blow me up. It'll mess my, my, my flow, so I don't want to do that. Uh, so I make sure that's all fixed. And then I go into the session. Oops, got to go this first. So I have, um, this is typical. I will have the um, Voice123 website here, the script here, the uh, Pro, Pro Tools session here on top of each other like that, bottom, middle, top. Uh, and it allows me to go back and forth to them if I really need to. So let's see. They want friendly. <clears throat> let's read it and see what happens. Finally, the time has come for welcome backs. Nope, I don't like that sound. Finally, the time has come for welcome backs. Glad to see, oh, glad to see us. This is, the, the punctuation's weird. All right, glad to see us. And giant. See, I don't read the whole thing out first. Uh, I prefer to have my first take at it. Um, I, I want to hear my first take at it uh, as, a, as a dead read, and then if I need to come back, I will. Mm. Finally, the time has come for welcome backs. Glad to see us and giant yet distant air hugs. It's time to see all those smiling eyes we love so much. But first, before the gates fly open and everything roars again, we need to do something. You and us together. 
We've always been about safety first, and that's never been more true than now. So, for the health and safety of our guests and our team members, we've set up some straightforward safety protocols based on guidance from the CDC. The first... <clears throat> now, obviously, if I mess up, I'll just come back. I, I know where I messed up, so I can just drop it in here. I know that about this much space is what takes from the time I press the button to the time I start talking, so I've learned that over time. I put that in. <clears throat> the first part starts with you before you even get to the parks or city walk. When you come to visit, you'll need to wear protective face coverings like these stylish wonders. You'll need to wear one throughout your visit. If you don't already have one, face coverings are available for purchase. If you have a condition that prevents you from wearing face coverings, you will need to check with our guest services team for special accommodations. And that's it. So uh, what I will do in Pro Tools is uh, Command A, which selects everything in uh, that I've just recorded. Um, shift option three, which makes them all into one file. Um, double click on it and rename it. And I will copy in the same name of the session as I put uh, so that the file name and the session name, they're all the same. So when I do a search, it's easier to find. I don't put my name. I don't slate. I don't do any of it. I just read the script, put in the name, hit OK, and I'm done. In this case, because I haven't won the job, I will go ahead and just clear this out and not save the script. No reason to save it until you get the job. <clears throat> so I will not save. It's gone. And then I go back into the session. Only then do I submit proposal. Uh, I click here to go to the file. Now, I've already got all of these set up as, uh, as, as um, shortcuts in, in my sidebar here. So uh, 05 is uh, all of my projects that I've done for this month, all the auditions that I've done for this month. 2020 are all the auditions I've done for the year. 05 is inside that 2020 folder. There's a paid projects folder. So when I, if I do an audition, say in 05, they hire me. When I, before I record it and send it, I will move it from 05 to paid projects. So I can always look in paid projects and see all the stuff that I have been paid for uh, in the year uh, or, or, you know, or last year or whatever. The, it's easier to track that way. In this case, I saved it in the 05 area. So I'm going to click on 05 there. It shows up at the top because I have it sorted so that the newest changed files, newest changed folders, newest change, everything goes to the top, easier to find. Uh, that was the $1,500 one. I go into audio files, double click on the WAV file, and off it goes. Uh, typically for everything, I choose my commercial demo and my narration demo uh, because the commercial shows range and the narration is typically what people are listening for. How do I put sentences together every single time I talk? Uh, but most of the time I have a feeling they don't even ever listen to those things. They tend to listen to um, my audition read. Those are just safeties. Oh, okay, I can hear him talking and yeah, he's good. I don't think they spend a lot of time doing that. So your audition is really the key here. I will always go for the up to price. I mean, if they are willing to pay $1,500, I'm willing to take it. But I will always select negotiable um, because, hey, everything's negotiable. You want to talk to me about doing this uh, for 19 projects, but you want to drop this price to $750? Okay, we can talk about that. Uh, and uh, this additional, the proposed details, I've already sent you my proposal details. I'll give you a little bit of information on this. When you go into the system and you put something in, the next time you do a project, the exact same thing you put in last time was in there. It wasn't the case for years. And so uh, I actually was the guy who called and said, why can't this just put in the last thing I put in? And uh, about four months ago, they took my advice and put it in there. So I, I feel personally responsible for making sure that part is there. Once that's there, all there's left to do is hit submit. Um, and I will hit it. And there it goes. Once you see this screen, you know it's submitted. I go back over to projects and I start again. As you can see from the beginning of the video, it, it, I'm doing this quick. I'm trying to get these done as fast as I possibly can, 10, 20, 30 a day. Usually what I'll do is uh, 10 in the morning before lunch, 20, uh, the, second, the 10 to 20 um, uh, uh, after lunch, and then another 10 at the end of the day. Um, just depends on how my voice is feeling and how I'm motivated because I'm a lazy guy and uh, I don't want to do them all at once. But you never know. Plus, if you do them all at once in the morning and you wear yourself out and then you find out later in the afternoon that some amazing jobs that you should have gotten came up, but you didn't look because you were busy playing Xbox or doing something else, which when you, you know, I do that all the time, uh, you want to make sure that uh, that 
you don't miss those jobs. So make sure to check back in uh, throughout the day. Um, now, that, obviously, I have a lot of, of, uh, of, of opportunity here because I haven't auditioned in a long time. But hopefully, this gives you a good idea of my workflow. Uh, if you want to know more about Pro Tools and how I use that or the shortcuts I have, as a matter of fact, let me show you shortcuts real quick. If you're on a Mac, uh, stick around. If you're not on a Mac, you can stop right now. If you go into System Preferences and you go into Keyboard, up here in text, there are text replacement shortcuts. So if I type this bracket, it'll put in this, please send me, blah, 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 which is something I do for my company. This one uh, is, you know, uh, basically a, a form that I create um, when I'm sending an email to my wife to create an invoice. It says the company name, the project name, the contact name, uh, the amount that I'm charging, that kind of stuff. Um, and then every email address that me and my family have. I don't like typing email addresses. They're a pain in the butt. But if I just type at zero, enter, poof, it will replace that. And I've done that for a million different things. One of the things I do is every morning I go in and I change this one, 2Q, to, uh, to, the, to today's date. So that when I go into the, that form, instead of me having to type 2020-05-24 and then paste in the thing, I can just hit 2Q space and then it's in and then, uh, um, and then I can put in the rest of stuff. So the day's date is, I can quickly put it in. And when you're doing 30 auditions with today's date as the first name, uh, the first thing in your file name, um, it makes it uh, really, really fast that you can just two cube space and move. I'm sure Windows has something similar to this, but I discovered this about a year ago and uh, it's awesome. And it also works on my iPhone. So all these things work on my iPhone too. Um, so if you're an Apple person, uh, this is just a genius move. Uh, that was a little bonus there at the end. Hopefully this made some sense to you. If not, feel free to send me your comments and questions and I'll answer them. Thanks, guys.